Thanks, Tracy. And hi, everyone. Really, words can't express how humbled and honored I am to serve as your president for this coming year. Thanks to the executive committee and the board of directors for your service and for preparing me to lead this year. Thank you for the opportunity to serve this organization I love so much and has given so much to me. I am really excited and honored to give back. I wanna start by thanking Tracy Ray for serving and surviving his presidential year in such a difficult and tumultuous time. Tracy led with direction and courage and has set us on a path for success moving forward. Among many other accomplishments, Tracy created two presidential task forces, one focused on the future training of sports medicine physicians and the other focused on diversity, equity, and inclusion. These task forces have been productive and will continue their work throughout my presidential term. The Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Task Force, which will now become a subcommittee under the membership committee, will define a large portion of the work I hope to accomplish over this next year. And I want to thank Tracy for taking the initiative to move us in this direction. In a non-pandemic year, there would be a hug and a handshake and a plaque. Uh, but for now, the, the plaque is in the mail. The hug and the handshake will come when we see each other in person next. But really great job and congratulations. Because of our mostly canceled AMSSM 2020 meeting, Jason Zaremski, the program planning chair for, for 2020, didn't get the full credit he deserved for planning a stellar meeting in Atlanta. Um, here's Jason better at home on a baseball field. We've taken some of his higher priority sessions and included them in this year's meeting. So 2021 reflects at least some of what Jason and Tracy hoped we would experience in 2020. Thanks Jason and great job. The members of the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Presidential Task Force need to be publicly thanked for their work in this arena over the past 10 months. This group has worked exceptionally hard to create a policy for AMSSM moving forward and draft benchmarks that the subcommittee will track over time. Uh, the task force was co-chaired by Naila Coleman and myself, and you can see here the group that worked to create a diversity, equity, and inclusion policy for AMSSM. This is a great Great team of talented people. Thanks for the difficult, challenging, and inspiring discussions we've had this last year. AMSSM would absolutely not be where we are today without the leadership of Jody, Gold, Jim, Griffith, and the rest of the AMSSM team. They are our glue and more. After nine years serving on a combination of the board of directors, the AMSSM Foundation Board, and now the executive committee, I see during their day-to-day -day interactions, their dedication and commitment to our success. Their importance to the success of our organization has only been magnified in a pandemic year. It is truly remarkable and please thank them. Finally, I wanna express my gratitude to, uh, sincere gratitude to Carlin Center. Carlin, uh, 2021 program planning chair, is an internist and sports medicine physician at UCSF, a proud Oakland A's fan, and perhaps the most detail-oriented person I know. For everyone who has ever planned a meeting or a course, you know that it is a Herculean effort at baseline. For Carlin, AMSSM 2021 involved planning three simultaneous meetings, an in-person, a hybrid, and an all-virtual meeting. Since moving to an all-virtual platform in February, she has worked pretty insane hours to make sure all of the details have been taken care of to make this meeting successful. The PPC job is tough in any year, but planning the first ever all-virtual AMSSM meeting has been its own special challenge. We are all physician volunteers in this organization, but I'm fairly certain that no one has put more hours in, especially over the last two months, than Carlin. Thank you. You are truly awesome. A big message for today is that mentors matter. Uh, Dr. Rosemary Agostini literally introduced me to sports medicine and took a chance on me when I was an internal medicine resident. She is one of my most important mentors. When I was elected to second vice president, she sent me some great historic artifacts from AMSSM's early days. I know that we are not that old as an organization, but it's remarkable to flip through the program brochure from the second annual AMSSM meeting in Sun Valley and look at what we've become in a short period of time time. Thanks to Rosemary for saving these, for passing them along to me for perspective, and our founders for having a vision for AMSSM. For perspective, this Sun Valley program brochure was five pages, including the page for AMSSM Olympics, and the brochure for 2021 is 128 pages. 
Our mentors don't need to be physicians. I have been brought up by some of the best and brightest in sports medicine. I want to specifically mention Jeff Casella, who was the head athletic trainer at Mentor High School when I was a very green fellow. Jeff has, Jeff has been named best athletic trainer in Ohio by the Ohio Athletic Trainers Association, serves as president now of the Ohio High School Athletics Association, and is now the athletic director at Mentor High School. As one of my first sports medicine teachers, I couldn't have asked for anyone better. Jeff also mentored Tracy Ray, former president Craig Young, former president Bob DeMeff, and incoming AMSSM Foundation Board President Susan Joy, so he must be doing something right. These AMSSM leaders are part of my big warthog family, and I'm very grateful for their friendship and mentorship over the years. Thank you to the whole warthog family for all of your support. Deb Willardson took over from Jeff. Deb was the athletic trainer I worked with most closely for the first 12 years I was at Utah. Her consistent athlete first focus and personal humility were so helpful to me in my early years of serving as a division one team physician. She was awarded collegiate athletic trainer of the year for Rocky Mount by the Rocky Mountain Athletic Trainers Association in 2003 given Hall of Fame status by that organization in 2009, and the Linda Amos Award for Distinguished Service to Women in 2013, the highest honor given specifically to women at the University of Utah. Deb was inducted into the Utah Sports Hall of Fame in 2016, and she would blush if you mentioned any of these to her. I am privileged to have trained with the best of the best. Please thank the athletic trainers who have helped you too. They don't hear it enough. So 2020 was a rough year, but what did we learn and what lessons can we take uh, from 2020 moving forward? Social injustice is real and has been on display in powerful ways in the past year. The disproportionate impact of COVID-19 on underrepresented minority communities has opened our eyes to discrepancies in healthcare that need to be addressed. Diversity, equity, and inclusion will be a major focus of my presidential term. Uh, the Presidential Task Force has outlined a strategy to move forward, move us forward organizationally. This includes um, coaching and mentoring uh, members from diverse backgrounds to get involved with AMSSM, serve the organization, and aspire to and attain leadership positions. Uh, to incentivize and mentor the growth and development of underrepresented researchers through an annual minority research grant to implement diversity, equity, inclusion, and cultural competency training, which will be available to all members, but required for AMSSM leadership. Encourage hands-on service opportunities, building off of the global, national, and local humanitarian outreach grants the AMSSM Foundation offers, and to advocate for governmental policies that address equitable access to physical activity. Our diversity, equity, and inclusion work will be tracked and monitored. Specific measures and metrics will be established within the AMSSM strategic plan to meet diversity, equity, and inclusion objectives. To me, this is really exciting work that will move us forward organizationally. The work I've done with Naila and the DEI task force this past year has opened my eyes to opportunities opportunities, real opportunities, AMSSM has to move the needle in the right direction. One of the great privileges I have in my current role at the University of Utah is working hands-on with bright, energetic, motivated medical students. As an example, when I returned from a missions trip to Kenya working with elite runners and told my first and second year medical students that athletes were training in shoes that were basically falling apart, they organized a shoe drive to donate their old shoes to charity within about two weeks. <laughs> I want to mobilize this energy and altruism. In that spirit, my husband Neil and I have decided to create an endowment that will fund annual grants specifically for medical students to reach into their communities with the ultimate goal of encouraging young people from underrepresented backgrounds to consider medicine and ultimately sports medicine as a future career. I want to be a personal part of trying to enhance the pipeline of talented people entering our field who might not otherwise know that this is an opportunity for them. This will be named the Rosemary Agostini Medical Student Community Outreach Grant uh, to honor Rosemary's decades of commitment to underserved communities. Rosemary has been nicknamed a community health evangelist, so it seems very appropriate to honor her service with more, more community service. 
only medical students can apply for this grant. Sorry, uh, it's going to be a competitive grant. For those of you who would like to apply, who are regular members, non-medical student members, find a medical student to be in charge and mentor them. I expect to see some really creative ideas coming from this group that will be profiled at future annual meetings, and I'm excited to see where this goes. 2021 has the potential to provide some return to normalcy, so embrace it, really embrace it. Teamwork and collaboration are important. Take a chance on someone from a mentoring standpoint, you never know what could happen. Bring them into the AMSSM family. We will intentionally work to make this a more inclusive place. Come together this year, that's our theme, and we look forward to welcoming you home, the 2022 theme in Austin, Texas. I look forward to serving you this year with your board and the AMSSM team. Don't ever be afraid to reach out. Thank you.